YouTube Ozzik going the goat house is back with another fantasy football mock, mock draft. This will be the last one we do here. Uh, the first one we had the third pick. Second one we did the seventh pick. Now we're going to go from the last pick in the first round. So we're actually going to pick twice in a row. That should be fun. Giving you some different perspectives here. Uh, depending on where your pick is and look at take a look at my strategy, what my thought process is. That's kind of worked for me in the past. Uh, please subscribe. 60K, that's our goal by early in the NFL season. We're going to have full coverage, unlike anyone else here. Picks with the boys every single week, my favorite videos on the channel. I do score predictions every week, uh, and then I do update my power rankings every single week. Plenty of other videos, always adding stuff throughout the year as well. That Twitter has just as much content, just not in video form. They're constantly talking during live games. It's a must-follow, in my opinion. Uh, check out the Instagram. More active on that as the year hits here and goes on. Podcast. And Patreon, where you can join our fantasy league there. Uh, and if you go to that patreon.com slash the goat house, which is a link down below, and you sign up for that last tier, the fourth tier, the goat it's called, you get access to our fantasy league, which has a prize. And there's plenty other bonus content on that tier, but on the other tiers as well throughout that Patreon. So you're going to want to click any of those links in the description, the comments to help us out. We'd really appreciate it, but we can move on to uh, fantasypros.com where uh, we can make this mock draft. So, uh, again, this is the third one we're doing, and we'll see how it, how it is. I, I think I like my the first video. I think I like that team a little better than my second one, but I was very happy with both my teams. Um, something I learned is maybe I'm taking tight ends a little early. Uh, perhaps I'm happy with having Darren with well, the guys I've had, but it looked like, based on the simulator, um, I could wait a little bit, actually. Um what do we got here? We oh, we're looking we're looking pretty good. I already like this. I already know exactly what I'm doing here. I'm taking. I am gonna listen here. I'm gonna take. I picked twice in a row. Yeah, I would love the twelfth pick. I, I I just based on this so far. Uh, Austin, give me Austin Eckler. Had him last year. Loved him. He's gonna get more action this year. They're gonna play a lot of small ball over there. It's gonna be fun. Uh, receiver. Give me Chris Godwin, even over DeAndre Hopkins, who I had last night. Chris Godwin's going to get the production. You're playing PPR like this one. Chris Godwin is going to get a ton of receptions with Tom Brady. Give me Chris Godwin, Eckler and Brady, or Eckler and uh, Godwin there. Loving my team so far. Now we got to wait a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay because we got some really good players still here. Let me take a look at the running backs real quick. I'm going to go back to the receivers. We're playing PPR. Who's going to get a ton of receptions? Who had a guy that got a lot of production that's gone? Cooper Cup. Brandon Cooks isn't there anymore. I like this draft a lot already. Give me Cooper Cup. Really high on him uh, this year for fantasy. And we're picking twice in a row. I absolutely love that. Give me the tw Hopefully I get the 12th pick in my leagues. Uh, there's some pretty good receivers left. Running backs are probably... Um, yeah, running backs. Ooh, that's a tough part. I wanted Todd Gurley right there. He does have the same bias Eckler. I don't usually worry about that too much. But my two top running backs, and I'm kind of a toss-up between Gurley and Carson. We take a look at this cheat sheet, see what else is left here. I'm going to wait for the quarterback. Gurley, Connor, uh, Carson, I'm not a fan of David Johnson sitting around. Not a fan of Bell this year. I don't know what's going on there. I almost, I might have to take on a receiver to be quite honest with you. If I can grab Cooper right now, just absolutely loaded at receiver, but I am missing out on a running back. Um, that's a tough call. There is a pretty big difference between Cooper and the rest of them. I think these guys, there's not too much of a difference between. Uh, I might go all in on the receivers here. Let's do it. Amari Cooper, Chris Godwin, Cooper Cup, Amari Cooper. That's a lot of receptions. That's a lot of points. Those are very productive guys. My running back's a very productive guy as well. Uh, but I might be a little thin on the next running back here. Is it my pick yet? Yeah, that's that's where it gets that's where it gets it. This is where it gets interesting because my next running back is pretty rough. So I could have went Todd Gurley there. Then you see the receivers still available. Tyler Boyd, uh, pretty solid. Almost in the same situation there, though. Uh, but I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go ahead and grab. I got Cam Akers on my first team, but he end up and might end up being my next running back on this team as well. Could go Philip Lindsay. Could go Kareem Hunt. Could go Singley. There's, there's some options. There's some options here. Um. Uh, 
It's tough. I'm almost tempted to go Hunt, but he is the second guy. He is the second guy in that team. That's why it's pretty tough there. And I don't want him to be my, my second string guy to be my second best running back. Um, Give me... This is a tough call. If David Montgomery didn't get hurt, I'd feel pretty comfortable with that. Uh, we're going to take... We're we're gonna go at Philip Lindsay here. Actually, we're gonna do it. I, you know, I think it's gonna be a similar role to what Eckler pl played at the Chargers last year with Melvin Gordon there. I I could trust Philip Lindsay uh, to get me the points. But yeah, maybe taking Cooper, it was just too good to pass on. But maybe that hurt my. Uh, that's why we do these mocks. And maybe that hurt my my running back position. But that's a lot of points from receivers alone there. Uh, and then into this round. Now I think I'm going to take Kareem Hunt. Oh, we're picking twice in a row. That's why. Now I'm going to take. Uh, we're going to double up on the backs. Now I feel okay taking Kareem Hunt. So um, yeah, a lot of upside there. I think with him, it's the fancy coming in. He he likes running backs. He can throw the ball to a lot. So that could work out. Uh, quarterbacks are st starting to come off the board. Uh, I like Brady. I do have Godwin already, but I'm not too worried about that. I do. I do like Brady. I think he's going to rack up the touchdowns here. We're going to go ahead and grab him. I'm going to grab Tom Brady here. I'm okay with him being my starter. Um, I think, you know, with those weapons, out to prove something once again, I, you know, I think he'll rack up the touchdowns. Could be top tier in the NFL in touchdowns. Um, so next, tight ends. I'm going to keep on waiting. I'm going to try that strategy, something I learned from the other ones. Could grab another running back. Could grab a receiver. Um, looking at... Can wait on. I think I can wait on the receiver here. Uh, Cam Akers is still around. I got to go Cam Akers. I think he's going to get the load for the Rams. Head of my first team too. So, you know, other than Eckler, no standout guys, but I'm really feeling, feeling pretty good about my running back rotation. But I'm just thrilled with the receivers that I got so far. So that's looking pretty good. Um, tight end, do I still want to wait? Hunter Henry might be tempting. Have another charger, though. That's, I mean, I'm fine with it. Uh, I think with Mike Williams hurt, Keenan Allen, Hunter Henry, really the only targets there. So there probably is a pretty big difference. Yeah, yeah I was going to end up waiting longer, but there's a there's a pretty big gap after Hunter Henry. Give me Hunter Henry there. Um, another bye week 10, though, obviously. I'm not, I'm not too, I don't too I won't worry too much about that. It never ends up being that much of a factor. I mean, I don't want to load up on too many of the same buys, but... Um, probably want to add another receiver now. I really like Justin Jefferson keeps coming off early. I want to grab either Rager Jefferson or, I mean, even Judy could be good. Give me, um, yeah, I keep, I mean, Mike Williams. I got too many chargers and he's hurt right now. And give me, give me Rager here. It's a great guy to have on your bench. I think at some point during the season, he's going to take over and kind of be known as the best receiver on the Eagles. I think so. So I think it's a really good fit. So that's something I believe in there. Uh, we could grab, what do we got? We got two, four, four of both running backs and receivers. We need uh, a backup quarterback quarterback and tight end for one of these spots so best available for uh best available for running back receiver here and that's gonna be probably a running back probably adrian peterson still hanging around justin jackson adrian peterson i got too many chargers uh give me adrian peterson he's gonna be the starter and the other, other guys have some injury concern you don't see darius geis in there anymore obviously uh, and then next pick we're gonna go with a grab another quarterback, perhaps. Let's get uh, let's get Aaron Rodgers in here. That's I feel like the steal down here. Aaron Rodgers still available down here. I think it's an absolute steal. Like I could, I fifty fifty shot. I could play Rodgers over Brady too. It depends on the matchup. I like that a lot. Uh, and then we move on to let's grab another tight ends. And weird how they came off the board. I felt like I ended up with a Hooper uh, on every team, pretty much. But uh, just so I don't end up with him again, I do just to kind of let everybody know, I do like Chris Herndon a lot. So we're going to take him. And then, um, like I said in the other video, strategy, I take kicker second to last. And then I take, we're going to take Harrison Bucker. And then I take defense last because I always find myself playing defense by week here. Give me this Broncos defense. 
right off the bat. I think it's the best defense out of the group. Can they create turnovers? I think they will create more turnovers this year. So give me the Broncos. My They grade, gave me a C again. They don't like me very much, but I'm confident with my strategy. I've always been. Uh, my first video got a B minus. My second one got a C. Third one got a C. So interesting. I, I, I don't know which team I like best. I was saying the first one. This one's pretty close. Probably the first one still. But, um, yeah, I think you're getting the idea of the the players, type of players I'm going to target, my strategy. Um, I almost wish, I I almost hope I pick a little later in the first based on this. I get that 10 to 12 range. Uh, I kind of want that. I I got that two years ago, and I felt like my team was absolutely dominant. Last year uh, in my main league, I I did win, but I didn't really get, it was close. I didn't really get the feeling that my team was that dominant. My running backs were really dominant, but it was a little scary last year. Year before when I picked... I think 11, I picked late, it was like the first time ever I got that late of a pick too. For some reason, I always got, I thought I got lucky picking earlier. Uh, but having late seemed to work out, you know, loading up on the receivers, which could be key in a PPR, obviously, and those types of receivers. Chris Godwin, Cooper Cup, this guy's going to get a ton of reception. So I really like that group there. Uh, but that's going to do it for the third and final mock draft. Hope all of your fantasy leagues go well. We got one going on here that's part of our channel as well. That'll be the last weekend before this end next weekend. Uh, still got a few spots up for grabs there if you sign up for the, the Patreon. If a bunch of people sign up, we'll create another group. Prizes involved, of course. Uh, please subscribe. Smash that like button if you enjoy. Turn notifications on so you don't miss anything during the NFL season. We'll have you covered. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.